If you watch Campus Unmasked regularly, as all the best people do, you're probably used to hearing some bad news. During the past week or so, we've had stories ranging from a UNC professor saying outright that Dr. Christine Blasey Ford told the truth about being sexually assaulted by Brett Kavanaugh and nominating her for an award, all the way to a floor collapsing during a Clemson University frat party, injuring 30 people. So now it's time for some good news, specifically that Johns Hopkins University has shot down a petition to cut ties with ICE. Let's take a look. Let me introduce you to Professor Drew Daniel, who teaches English at Johns Hopkins. He's written on something called queer minstrelsy before, which sounds very scholarly and not partisan at all, and look no further than the first line of Drew's faculty bio, and you'll notice that he studied at UC Berkeley. These things might explain why he started a petition for his university to cut ties with Immigration and Customs Enforcement, which collaborates with the school to offer a couple of programs for students. The professor's petition says, ICE is now currently responsible for the fabrication and maintenance of facilities across the country which have been described by scholars of the Holocaust as meeting the conditions considered definitive of concentration camps, indefinite detention without trial on the basis of identity. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So let me get this straight. Is Drew using identity here to refer to the fact that these people are in the country illegally? Drew, buddy, that's an action, not an identity. I mean, imagine being able to go around committing crimes and then say, oh, what? You can't lock me up. That's discriminating against my identity. More than 2,000 people, over half of whom were students, alumni, or faculty from Johns Hopkins, signed the petition. But fortunately, it doesn't seem like the school is falling for this hogwash. Johns Hopkins president and provost wrote a letter suggesting that distancing the school from ICE would violate academic freedom and saying, We believe that it would be antithetical to the mission of the university if we were to insist that faculty members withhold instruction or medical care in order to have the university express its disapproval with certain aspects of current federal policy. Pretty based, as they say on the interwebs. And to add insult to injury, a Johns Hopkins student who wanted to stay anonymous told one of my correspondents over at Campus Reform that illegal alien students may benefit from ICE contracts because these contracts provide funding to the school, and suggested this funding also keeps the school open to lower income students. The compassionate left all of a sudden doesn't seem so compassionate. Who would have thought? For Campus Unmasked, I'm Rob Shimshaw. If you like this video and support our mission, please make sure to comment and subscribe. If something happens on your campus and you'd like us to investigate, send us details using the form on campusunmasked.com.